Laura here. Today I am going to do a collab with the beautiful Cat Blue and she asked me if I would like to do a Valentine's collab with her and I haven't done a collab for a little while. I haven't done a lot of filming for a little while. So I did one um, yesterday and before that was at the beginning of the month and then I haven't done any <laughs> for a month before that. So um, I'm completely out of practice and I haven't done a lot of makeup either in the last month so this should be interesting and um so Kat and I are going to do a valentine's look and we were thinking about what we were going to do and so we said oh what about if we do vampy versus romantic valentine's look and she liked that idea and she instantly came back and said oh I want to do the vampy one which is fine because I'm quite happy doing the romantic look so that's what we're going to do. Now, Valentine for me, for, well, we don't really do Valentine much. We're actually going camping for Valentine's this year. <laughs> and not for Valentine's, just because we happen to be going away. And it happens to be Valentine's at the same time. And my husband's going to the dentist before we go. So that's a fun Valentine's. <laughs> but um, my idea of Valentine's, it's more a romantic, soft look. So I'm wearing my, in pink, I'm wearing my pink dress, and I thought, well, that's going to be fairly boring to watch. I've done a couple of fairly natural looks lately. So I'm going to put a little twist on it, but I still want it soft in pink. <laughs> so I sort of feel like if you're going on a romantic Valentine's date, I wouldn't want too much makeup on, or if I had lots of makeup on, I wanted to look like I don't have too much makeup on. So I'm not quite sure how this is going to turn out. We'll have to wait and see. Now I'm going to use some stickers, but I'm going to use these as like a template rather than the actual stickers. So um, as I said, I'm not sure how it's going to work out. We will see. So I'm going to get this little heart sticker. And which eye do I want it on? I think I'll put it on this one. And I want to put it like So that's going to be like a stencil in reverse. So when I take it off, I'll have the shape. <laughs> Just to give a little twist, make it a little bit different. Now I've got a variety of pink palettes. I've got the Strawberry Shake from Colourpop, which has got some pink in it. So more of the warmy pinks. But my dress is more of the cooler pinks, so... Uh, then I thought, oh, I think I might need some other ones. So I've got the Wednesday palette from Sports Girl Beauty, which has got some pinks in there. And I've got my Revolution Kami palette. Okay. And it's got some pinks in there. And I've got my ColourPop Super Shop called Party Shop. This is from their... Um, birthday set. So I've got a variety of pinks. I've also got a pink eyeliner. I have done my eyebrows and prepped my eyes and now I'm going to play because I don't really know what I'm doing. I have got in front of me I've got several pictures from Pinterest. Yeah, that was helpful wasn't it? The screen went dead. Give me some ideas. So I'm going to combine lots of different ideas together and see what I come up with. So that's why I said I'm not entirely certain what I'm doing. I've just got a vague idea. So I think I'm actually going to start off with my liner. And this one is called Life in Pink. And I'm going to go underneath. And then... Hmm. Where, where should I go from here? I think I'm going to go with palm. And these are... Is this the models prefer? It's kind of a tapered fluffy brush. Because my um, dress is more these cool tone blue. Um, blue. <laughs> these cool tone paints. That's why... I'm going with these pinks. I 
because I normally like a, a warmer pink, which is why I really like this palette because it's got a lot of those warmer pinks. But I want it to go with my dress as well. So I am going to go into the strawberry shake palette and I'm going to get woke this one here. And I think I'm going to go, this might be too dark, I'm going to go into Drama Club in the sports cow. And it's, it's a very warm cream. And I think that'll be right, because I'm just warming up the area a little bit. Because warm packs suit me better than these more butter tone packs. I'm just trying to combine them a bit to make it work. I may not be doing that much on my eyes. In the end. I'm not quite sure. That's why I got a variety of things out because I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. And I'm going to use a flat brush and I'm going to go into Cafeteria, which is this colour here. This was, it was one of the colours that we were trying to make sure that this colour was this pale pink. It's kind of a my eyes, the way the light is shining on it. It's got a sort of silvery purple shift to it. That's interesting. It doesn't look like that in the pan, that's for sure. And when I put it on my finger, you can kind of see it, but not really. That shift, but it shows that much more on the eyes. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Fun colour. And then what would I like to do? think I'm gonna go into Cheer, which is this really bright pink one. I just wanna put a little bit of it in there. Just like putting it on and then brushing it all off. a bit of a suggestion rather than a whole lot just so it kind of ties in with my dress a bit more okay i'm gonna go backwards and forwards between the colors and just see what i'm doing i'm gonna go in with some glitter glue first I'm just using my Elf Glitter Glue, Glitter Primer, what it's called. And I just want a little bit in between those two colours, where there is a different line at the moment. And I'm going to go in with the Super Shop Shadow and put a little bit of glitter. I have no idea if this is a good idea or not. It's not turning really very subtle, that's for sure. <laughs> now, I want something in between this light colour and this purple colour. So I'm looking at all my colours. I actually think I might try Whipped, which is in the Strawberry Shake palette. It's a shimmer. like playing with colour. That's why I like makeup, because I like playing with colour. It's fun. I like that colour. And then I'm going to go back into Cafeteria, this one here. I'm playing the two a bit more. And I'm just going to go back and forth until I get the blend I am looking for. What do you think so far? And I think I'm going to go into Cheer, that bright, bright pink again. And I'm going to use that on the bottom there over the eyeliner. That's what 
we're looking like so far. I do want, I think I'm going to use some black on the tight line. Yeah, my daughter borrowed my makeup wipes and never gave them back, so I might just try and a new packet because she'll probably use them all anyway. So I'm just going to clean up stuff that have fallen on my face. And now I'm going to do my base. So I want to use, I'm going to use the Pretty Fresh by Colourpop. And I'm going to use my Coco Calming Face Mask from the Body Shop. a mixture of my L'Oreal Glam Beige and Light and my Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturiser. So I'm going to mix those two together. And I'm going to use a foundation brush. It's just a wet and wild foundation brush. just to spread it out. I'm not, I'm not really putting it on with the foundation brush because I'm going to use my sponge for that. I just like to spread it out a bit before I put it on the sponge because otherwise the sponge just soaks up too much product. And Use my expensive Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for Under the Eyes that I got while I was up in Auckland. The only um, makeup product that I bought in the last month. So, does it make any difference? This is the eye with the powder, this is the eye without. What do you think? Do you see? Did it do anything? I don't know. And then I am going to use my Fit Me Set and Smooth. And my Revolution Lace Loose Powder. And I'm just going to mix those together. And I've just washed my brushes, so I have to get all my clean ones out. Powder brush. So I'm just mixing those together in there. And powdering Why do I mix put them both together? Because um, it just seems to work <laughs> for me. Do you know that? do a little bit of blush draping. So I have got a couple of blush palettes. So I've got my Revolution one in, what's this one called? Queen. Blush Queen. And my LA Girl one, which is just the colour and contour. So I'm going to go with this one first because this one's all shimmers. And this one is matte. And I think I will go with this colour here. Oh, my sticker fell off. Okay. I I'm not sure when that fell off. Probably when I cut it. Hang on. Let me, let me just redo that. 
because this is why I wanted it on while I was doing the brush. So, I'll get another one. See, that was staying on there. I didn't even notice that it was pulled off. I look a bit crazy for a bit, I think. <laughs> and then I'm going to go into the swarmer one here. Did I say I wanted a subtle look? It's not, it's not subtle at the moment. I'm going to get my powder brush and Buff that out a little bit. It looks like a sunburn collar on me. <laughs> so, if you're not following Cat Blue, then I would encourage you to go and check her out. She's such a wonderful person and so fun to watch, and she will share her life with you and what she's what she's doing and things which I, I love it yeah. but the people I follow are just looking for a bronzer brush and I'm going to use my elf bronzer here and I'm just going to swirl them all together and she will share her life with you and tell you what's going on and it just feels like you're sitting down um, talking with a friend except you don't get to do any of the talking unless you go in the comments <laughs> And that's what I love about her channel. And she's a really real down to earth person. She's got a bit of an edge to her. She, um, she likes to play the guitar and she's been in a band and yeah, but um, she's also very sweet and very genuine. And I just really enjoy watching her. So I'm just going over with my bronzer and I've been quite aggressive with it because this is quite a, um, subtle bronzer and I'm just buffing out some of those edges from the blush so it's not quite so in your face <laughs> and she does makeup videos obviously she she used to do um her band videos but she hasn't done those for a while i think she said she she would like to do some again so that would be interesting to see what she um see her actually playing again and she's fairly new to the makeup game so um she's a lot better than she says she is she's not very confident about her makeup skills but she's actually a lot better than what she says she is. <laughs> now, I feel like the blush is looking about where I want it, and I'm going to put a little bit of a glow, so I'm going to use this one here with a smaller brush, which I want to use. I think I might use this one, which is an elf bronzing brush, but it's small and it's fluffy. And I just think she's so wonderful. Okay, it is. And she's so much fun to watch. And you just feel like you've got a friend, which I love. So many people that I watch on YouTube are more like they're just, they're my friends. They're, I may not have met them in person, but they're my friends. <laughs> now I think I'm going to do highlighter. And another friend, Kelly Wesley, gave me this in one of our swaps. And um, I'm going to use this one. So, um, what do I want? I think I'll use my highlighter brush. It's a BH Cosmetics one. Uh, I'm going to start off with the bright pink one, which is double time. It probably isn't that far away from the colour of... 
what I just put on. It's just a bit, a bit more blue based. It goes well with this colour that I put on the inner corner because it's kind of shimmering a little bit more cool even though it's a warm colour. And then I'm going to go into double whammy here. And then I'm going back into this brush and doing some buffing again. A lot of buffing needed in this look. Now, I think, uh, see what I want to do? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking and not telling you what I'm thinking. I think I'm going to go back into here with a small brush. And I'm just going to go round this little heart a little bit. Just so it does actually stand out when I take the sticker off. I have no idea if this is a good idea or not. I'm just going to go over with the powder brush again, so that's not too crazy. Anyway, I was talking about Kat, <laughs> and then I got distracted with my blush, as you do when you do your makeup. <laughs> Oops, I'm tripping my brushes now. Now I'm doing Jane and Anya from Anya Stamper. That's, that's, that's what I call it now when I drop stuff, but I can't really call it that because I drop stuff all the time. I just blame it on her. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to go into the strawberry shape palette and I'm going to get the delish colour, which is a warm pink for the inner corner. There. And again, we're going to ignore the fact that I've got some dry skin here because of hay fever, which we're not supposed to be having this time of year. In the middle of summer, I don't know what the weather thinks it's doing. And I'm also highlighting my brow bone with it. So, what else do I want? Oh, I've got my brushes over here instead of over here. Now, what colour did I use then? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what colour I used up there, but it was this colour here, like from the Strawberry Shake palette. So, let's do some blending. So, on my waterline, I've just used the Next jumbo, jumbo Pencil in Strawberry Milk, so it's a very, very light pink, shimmery light pink. It doesn't really show up that much, but it's just it kind of cleans up that area a little bit. And then I think I'll do my setting spray. Do my mascara. I'm going to use my other mascara as well, my Standing Innovation one, and this gives a bit more volume. And I'm going to put that in the middle there, rather than winging it out. I'm going to let that dry. Take my heart off. Just a little subtle heart. I think. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna try this anyway. I'm gonna go into a crush. I think I'm gonna use a little pointy brush. Who's the artist coming out of me? My little subtle heart's not enough. <laughs> and I think I will just put a little 
little bit of the outline. Oh, should I? a little bit of the white top secret here and I'm gonna put that on this side What do you think? Right, <laughs> enough playing with the heart. So I'm building up the mascara in the middle to give it a more kind of doll-like look to my lashes. That's, that's the idea anyway. Whether I succeed or not is another story. <laughs> and for lipstick, hmm, I haven't planned that out. I'm thinking Pale, glossy, pink. Let me see what I have. Okay, I'm going to try this one. It is Rimmel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gloss. It is. What's this one called? I don't know what it's called. It's this one. But I don't know what colour it is. See if this looks alright. I, I was going for something subtle, so yeah, I think that'll work. I'll go and um, do something with my hair and put my earrings on and then I'll come back. And here is my final look. I think it's very pretty and romantic. And um, in my younger days, I would have definitely worn this look if my makeup skills had been up to it. But I wasn't that good at makeup back then. <laughs> it reminds me kind of of my 80s younger days. But... Um, I will be wearing this all day. Do you think I'm too old to wear this? I am 50 after all. But I feel pretty in it, so that's all that matters. I curled my hair a bit and then put it up into like a messy bun. And I'll show you um, my whole outfit so you can see what it looks like. And um, I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day. And enjoy it with someone you love. And even if it's just to you know, tell them you love them in case you haven't done it for a while. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be a big expensive dinner out or anything. It's just showing someone that you appreciate that you love them. So, Kat, I love you. <laughs> so 
thank you for being my friend and thank you for doing this collab with me and for all you people watching me if you don't follow cat which i'm sure you probably do because we've collabed several times and um please go and follow cat i will leave, leave her link down below and that's it for me today and now i'm going to go in do in my garden and my romantic makeup <laughs> so see you next time bye so I will just show you my whole outfit here and I'm always amazed how far back I have to stand to do this so I'm going to go way back here and here is my little dress and because I've lost some weight I can wear my little dress without worrying about my stomach sticking out so I don't have to wear shape wear which I'm pretty happy about and I'm just wearing little flat shoes and I will show you what they look like they're just little um little lacy ballerina flats and they go I thought they went nicely with my tracker so no heels just cute practical 